Hey YouTube, it's um, Sunday the 11th of May and I'm going to show you uh, the PlayStation 1 game, Dracula the Resurrection, uh, as promised in my last pickup video. Um, it's far from a review, so uh, please don't take it as a, a guide to the game. Um, it's a game that was released in 2000 by a company called Microids and Canal Plus Multimedia. And it's a game that comes on two discs and the first disc is in the PlayStation 3 which is the system I'm going to be playing it on to show you today. And um, I shan't do too much commentary on this so I'll just uh, turn the volume up so you can uh, hear the game and uh, just watch me play really. So uh, enjoy, leave your comments below and I'll see you soon. After a week spent battling the monster, we have finally managed to destroy Dracula, but at a terrible price. Quincy lies dying at our feet. All we can do is be with him as he slips into oblivion. Mina is saved, yes, but for how long? The vampire's blood runs in her veins. Though the marks on her neck have disappeared, who knows whether they will reappear or not one day. True, we all saw Dracula disappear. Not one of us can say for certain whether we have actually defeated the fiend. So I just say now you've got like a little KSE control on the screen and that's how you play the game. So I'm just gonna go up to new game and I have played this for a quick 10-15 minutes the other day. And the little icon down there, you see the little page burning, uh, turning book. That's the loading icon. Jonathan, please excuse my writing, but my hand trembles so I can barely hold my pen. After you left this morning, a strange dizziness came over me. I went out for some fresh air, and when I looked up, I was at Carfax. Dracula's home was summoning me as if he'd returned and wanted me again. As I write, I can no longer master the power that is drawing me there. I'm leaving on the first boat to Transylvania. I feel that I must go back to the castle. I am powerless. I must find out what is happening to me. Don't attempt to follow me. Your presence would only complicate things. Forgive me. Mina. Seward, my friend, my deepest fears were founded. This morning, Mina was overcome by a fit of insanity, and she took off for Transylvania alone. Apparently, Dracula is back. Could you start investigating this matter in London and find out whether the threat is real? If so, you will have to recruit new allies and go back into battle. Beware, and be careful. I am leaving all post-haste to catch up with Mina. She only has a few hours leave. I hope I find her before it's too late. Jonathan. So this is where we start the game and these are the graphics. Uh, there's a little bit of bleed out on the bottom there. I'm not sure if that's because it's running through emulation on the PS3. And as you can see, 
you can look around uh, with a directional pad pretty much in 3D. So that's, that's quite a nice, nice feature. And you basically, uh, wherever you can go on the screen, the cursor changes to like an arrow. And then you press the X button to go in that direction and just uh, re-generates uh, the image. So we'll go inside what looks like a bar. Welcome stranger, welcome to my humble inn. I hope those two brutes didn't hurt you. I cannot imagine what got into them. Never mind, you must have had a long trip and it is already very late. Now, sit by the stove and get warm. If you need anything at all, I'm there in the kitchen. Please feel free and make yourself at home. So as you can see there, the characters are quite strange. Uh, the voice robes aren't too bad. So we're just going to chat to that um, bar lady or whoever she was. I think that's, that's her over there. So when you can talk to a character, it changes to like a magnifying glass, uh, something of interest. And in the top here is the uh, chat icon or interact icon. Madam, I must go to the castle as soon as possible. To the castle? Oh, it's late. The road is long and hardly safe. We must be exhausted. Don't bother about going to the castle tonight. I'll get your room ready and tomorrow we're discussing. Tomorrow will be too late. I must go to the castle now. Do you really have to go? Tonight is St. George's Eve. At the stroke of midnight, all the evil roaming the world will be lost. Do you realize where you're going and what you will face? Stay here, don't go. For your mother's sake. So not much help there other than uh, she recommends I don't leave and go and visit the castle. Now we go and see what this uh, drinker down the bottom has to say for himself. So apart from the cutscenes, uh, there's no music so far, it's just um, background noise, which makes it quite atmos atmospheric. Here's the chap. Quite a frail looking old man, so... See what he says. I want to go to the castle. What is the shortest path? To the old castle. But it has been deserted ever since the Count disappeared. What do you want to do there, stranger? I don't have time to explain, but it is very important for me to get to the castle immediately. You ought to wait for daylight. The path is strewn with traps. You'll have to face countless, unimaginable dangers. You'd better stay with me. We'll have a drink together. I cannot. It's a question of life and death. Whatever you like, young man. Well, you can take the old bridge behind the inn. But it's not safe. Is that really the only way? Oh, in any case, it's certainly the fastest. So I didn't quite make out what he said there, but something about uh, some transportation at the back of the inn.
just have a quick look around, see what we've uh, see if there's any pickups to get. So the icon changes to like some gears, um, and that is I think to show you that you can interact with it, but you need something uh, first in order to do that. So we have obviously got to pick up a key to open that drawer. Going down some stairs at the back now. Not sure where this leads. I do like these cutscenes, these animated cutscenes. They uh, they add to the gameplay gameplay uh, quite a lot, I think. Look like a telescope of some sort. And nothing else to get on the screen there. Obviously can't go that way. Uh, nothing else by looks of it to do down here, so we'll uh, go back upstairs. Check out the board loop window. Back into the inn. Just have a quick look upstairs, see what's up there. Uh, bedroom. As I say, I did play this the other day and um, I did get to this room and I can't remember if there's anything to pick up. Uh, a door you can't get through. Uh, no items that um, looks like you can pick up. So we'll just go back out of the room. I don't think this cabinet opens. So I'm not quite sure what went on there. There doesn't seem to be anything behind. Uh, the cabinet from where he pushed it out of the way. Uh, he did look up, so I don't know, that looks like a hatch of some sort. How you get up to the hatch, I'm not sure. Maybe you have to go up, turn around, have a look at the cabinet. 
So yeah, there's definitely a hatch up there. Let's see if we can get up there. Oh yeah. Some sort of item to pick up, I'm not sure what that was. So it looks like we're standing on the cabinet. And that's definitely a hatch, but we need something to open it by the looks of it. I'm not entirely sure how you get the menu open. Um, we'll just press start, see what that does. So that's just to load your games and save them, etc. Just press select, see if that's the uh, inventory. No, R1. L1, no. So this is where reading the instruction manual helps, but uh, it's very rare that I do that in a game. And I like to try and work it out for myself. Um, this kind of game isn't the kind of game I usually usually play. Uh, I do like my action games, uh, but I do like my puzzlers, uh, more in the vein of like Tetris and things. So um, <coughs> very rarely I do play this kind of game. So, not terribly good at them, as you can see. Um, but I would recommend it, it uh, seems like a pretty good game. Uh, very really, um, reminiscent of games like, dare I say, Resident Evil. Um, very atmospheric. <coughs> the animated scenes and things are quite, um, quite like Resident Evil, I think. Uh, it's just that they the took it to the next level, uh, where you can turn 360 degrees uh, in the background, as you can see. Um, and it also reminds me of a game uh, for the Atari Jaguar. Uh, not in the gameplay style, just the way um, there is no music and you just have the sound, uh, the background noise, um, which adds to the atmosphere of the game. So that's uh, very much like Alien vs Predator on the Atari Jaguar, where they just have like the ship, the noise of the ship in the background, which uh, makes the game very atmospheric and quite intense um, <coughs> but certainly scares you when uh, noises happen when you turn a corner and suddenly an alien there etc <coughs> and I guess that's just, um, what this uh, game does as well um, I should imagine certainly when you uh, encounter Dracula and so forth so we're back outside now and um, this is where we started I'm not quite sure what's out here, um, but as you can see, you can go 360 degrees, which is um, pretty damn good, I think. Um, except I'm not sure where where you go now. The guy said something about something being at the back of the inn. It is quite hard to tell where you're meant to go sometimes, um, but it just takes a bit of uh, navigating around and basically where the cursor changes uh, that's where you can go so it's just a case of going around the, around the screen having a look so I'm not quite sure why it's taking me under here there's a hole there we can't get into We'll go back out. See if we can get round the side. Oh, it looks fenced off, and there's no icon saying I can go round the side of the inn. So we'll carry on down this track. some sort of a well and again we can't get into there yet so we'll come back out that screen carry on down the way some chap here now and this isn't a, a new character to me I didn't reach this Go far away. the and other day 
go away and don't come back. That wasn't very welcoming or helpful. Let's see if he changes his dialogue. Go away and don't come back. No, there's some weird guy there, so I'm not sure what you have to do there later in the game. But yeah, that seems like a good point to end the game. Uh, didn't get uh, much done uh, in terms of progress of the game, but it shows you what kind of style it is and the kind of characters you encounter, the kind of puzzles um, you're likely to come across. Um, items to pick up, obviously, and um, things to uh, interact with. So there is quite a lot of uh, puzzle element to the game. So yeah, let me go. Uh, let, let me. Let me know what you think of the game, uh, what you think, uh, if you've played it before, uh, let me know how you got on. Any gameplay tips for me, that'd be nice. Uh, so yeah, I'll, uh, I'll end the game there and uh, thank you for watching. And leave your comments below, I'll see you guys soon.